Hi, I just want to walk you through the Chapter 17 homework problems. So the first one is dealing with department rates, and you can check this out. There's an example, um, Exhibit 17.6 in the textbook, where we have our first requirement where we're going to re uh, calculate the department rates. Um, and so we've got molding and trimming. Um, molding is going to be based on, I believe, machine hours, trimming based on direct labor hours, right? So you're going to get a rate for each department. Requirement two is you're going to use those department rates and then multiply it by the um, actual usage um, of the machine hours and the direct labor for Part Z and Part X. Okay. Problem two is looking at classifying the activities as uh, unit level, batch level, product level, facility level. This is used um, to you know, help uh, calculate uh, the activity base for the specific activity when we're doing rates. It helps with using um, ABC for management, activity-based management. Um, and these can be a little bit tricky. I even have to think about them a bit. So. Um, you can see there's an example, um, Exhibit 17.4. So if you check out this exhibit, um, here you can see unit level. Does it apply to just a single unit, the activity? Is it for a group? Okay. Um, is it for the service or the product, or does it apply to the whole facility? Okay. So as I said, these require a little bit of thought. Um, also, if you look on the demonstration, not the demonstration, the lecture videos, part three, the beginning of the part three lecture video, I talk about the activity levels. All right, problem three um, is the first part requirement one is uh, calculating a plant-wide rate. So exhibit 17.3 shows a chart with the plant-wide rate. So the plant-wide rate is a single rate. So you're taking all of the budget overhead and dividing it by the total of the activity base. This one is direct labor hours. They tell you the total direct labor hours. For you to get your overhead, your budgeted overhead, you'll have to take the budgeted overhead for the two different departments and add it together to get the total, right? Because we're just doing one rate for the plant-wide rate. And then requirement two, you'll use that plant-wide rate from one, multiply it by um, the uh, activity base with direct labor hours for this um, desk lamp, we're doing it per unit. So how many direct labor hours per unit for the desk lamp? And then requirement three is using department rates again. So the fabricating department and the assembly department, um, fabricating is based on machine hours, assembly is based on direct labor hours. So instead of combining them, you'll look at the fabricating uh, hours and divide that by the budgeted machine hours assembly, the total overhead for assembly, divide that by the direct labor hours. And then requirement four is you'll figure out the overhead uh, cost per unit for each department by taking the department rate, multiplying it by the desk lamp um, per unit machine hours for fabricating, um, the desk lamp direct labor hours per unit for assembly. And then four, pretty much you do it again. Okay, so the plant-wide rate, so using the total overhead, right? Because here they give it to you per activity, but for the plant-wide rate, it's a total overhead. Um, dividing it by, they give you the direct labor hours. Um, and then you'll apply it, okay? And then you're gonna do it using activity-based costing. So if you look at Exhibit 17.9 in the textbook, there's a chart for calculating the activity rates. So it's really similar to the departments, but now we've broken it down even further than just by department. We've broken it down by activity. And then we can use different um, activity bases, right, that are uh, more closely correlate with how the, that overhead is being incurred. And then once you get the rates, you'll take those um, activity rates here and you will apply them to the um, activity usage for each activity. Okay. Okay, so we also have our first tableau activity um, due this week. 
And so we can see we have data visualizations. And so we can see the breakdown, 8 million is the total overhead. It's broken down between finishing, you can see the finishing, you can see the assembly. And then we can see the direct labor hours in total. And then the visualization shows how much of it is finishing department, how much is assembly. And then if you scroll down, you can see the activities are maintenance and supervision. So it's still the same 8 million, but it's broken down. You can kind of click and see how much is supervision, how much is maintenance. And then you can see supervision, the activity drivers, direct labor hours, maintenance, it's machine hours. So the first requirement uh, is just pretty straightforward, is taking that budgeted cost, okay, for maintenance. All right, you can click and see the maintenance piece. You can see the supervision piece and then the budgeted activity usage which you can also see in the data visualization. So you're going to be getting um, your activity rates in requirement one. And then requirement 2A, you're going to be applying those activity rates that um, you did in requirement one. So um, here you'll drop in your activity rates from requirement one and you're gonna be using them to apply the cost to product XL and product RD. Okay, and so they kind of make you do an extra step to get the activity usage they want for the total machine hours for the product. So they give you the number of units for the product and the number of um, machine hours per product. So you're gonna multiply and get the total for the product um, for machine hours and direct labor hours. And so you'll need to read this information where they give you the units they give you the machine hours per unit, the direct labor hours per unit. They want the total machine hours for all the units, total direct labor hours for all the units. But then you're gonna get the, the overhead cost per unit. You're gonna end up dividing it by the number of units. So they kind of made you do an extra step, um, which I, I don't like, but that's, that's how they're setting it up. It's a bit confusing, I think. Um, requirement to B then, um, you're going to be using a single plant-wide rate. So the activity usage for XL and RD, they tell you how many direct labor hours. Um, and now this one, they want it per unit because we're calculating the overhead cost per unit. So you're gonna take the direct labor hours per unit and you're gonna multiply it by, a plant, by the plant-wide overhead rate based on direct labor hours. So you're gonna have to calculate that. So the plan-wide rate is just taking all of the overhead, and if it's direct labor hours, it's gonna be on the total direct labor hours, right? So finishing and assembly combined, the total direct labor hours here, you can see at the top of the chart. Okay, so that's how you're gonna get your plant-wide rate, okay? Um, multiply that by XL's um, direct labor hours per unit, RD's direct labor hours per unit, you'll get the overhead cost per unit. And then requirement three is saying, well, which method would the XL manager prefer? Which one would the RD manager prefer? So you'll compare 2A, the overhead per cost per unit for XL in 2A to the overhead um, cost per unit in 2B. And obviously they'll prefer the method that gives you the lower one, either the activity-based method or the single plant-wide rate. Do the same thing for RD. Compare the overhead cost per unit for RD to uh, in 2A, which was the activity um, rate, to the plant-wide rate, which is in 2B. And of course, they're gonna prefer whatever lower. Okay. Let me know if you have any questions.